talking sometimes that the truth is simple and all of that. But sometimes I question this, whether we are looking in the wrong way to speak like that, that the truth is simple or complex. Maybe that is also a tribal perspective, because it is beyond simplicity or complexity. It's not about that. It's not in the category of the interrelated opposites. You understand? This is very important, I think, what I'm saying right now. Because, you know, sometimes I say, but it's very simple. It's all very simple. And maybe according to how the mind works, it's I think Muji said simple, so that's to do with the way it works. But the truth does not work. It just is. And it's neither complex nor simple. You know, there's no way fitting into the way that the human mind. Uh, is working, which is, it's like the mind is like an instrument for for interpreting, and for measuring change or variety, and for speculative speculation. And what I'm speaking as as the awareness is not in any category. The mind itself is it is a category. The mind itself is is uh, and the person, who the sense of the person, they're all linked together. And awareness is 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 not it's not part of that atomic structure. It's not a structure. But you see, that is the beginning of the inquiry, because even to say that uh, my mind doesn't need to do anything and whatever, no. The inquiry is not really targeting your mind, but you. Who are you? Who speakers say my mind even. You see, when we speak about mind, immediately for me, the mind itself is a phenomenon. If I talk about my mind, immediately interest goes to the mind more than to the mind for me. Do you follow? Mm-hmm. Hmm? Many times about people say, "Well, you know, my mind," and everybody goes to the mind, look for the mind, what the mind is doing. But when you say my mind, my interest goes straight to the you. Who is the you? Because whatever the mind is, it's taking its reading from you. So who, who are you? They say my mind immediately, you know, feels like I don't have to do anything. So who is the I? And because we are so unaccustomed to um, somehow question the I, we always more go to at least questioning what the I thinks, or the, what the I imagine, or the, what the I wants, which is secondary to the I. You see, this is the, these are the these are the real um, uh, essential. Que- I don't even know what uh, what this, all these people are talking about in this world. You know. Yeah, you know, and uh, you know, Jesus is coming, and he's going to do all this kind of stuff. And I think, wow, you know, like I know this mind, you know, I know these worlds, I know these worlds. They they are part of they are part of a, a, an amazing sort of matrix of spirit of, of spiritual kind of like currents, you know, because uh, the Muslims are having a relationship with God, and the Christians are having a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, and and you know, sort of like uh, you know, every you know, the Buddhists are having their relationship with the Buddha, and the Hindus are true, true, you know, you know, Krishna, and uh, the worshippers of Vishnu and the worshippers of uh, you know Shiva. And they hold out their you know the, these things which are real, and people are having experiences, uh, and sitting with Shiva and going through all these things, and uh, you know, meeting Jesus, and who is speaking about all these things, and. Where do these worlds collide? Where do they inter? Where do they meet as one? Because they seem to be more that even, you know, even the prophets seem to be arguing against other prophets in the mind of people, and it feels like you know it's unarguable. Where do you go? And I have to come back and say, but who are you? Jesus took me to see you being who. Who are you? That Jesus recognized. In what way does Jesus recognize you? As what does Jesus recognize you? Can he recognize you anything other than the way he recognizes himself? I mean, are you of different material? 
that he thinks himself, I'm the son of the father, but you are something else, you are going to hell. I mean, could Jesus, in what way Jesus is relating to you? In what way is the Prophet uh, Muhammad, in what way is he relating to you? Or what does Krishna call you? You are calling you something. So this is the, this is the, oh my God. How to come out of this dream, the waking dream and the sleeping dream. Dream meaning the, the imagery of creation, the imagery of the vital force, the imagery of the existence in time, such as future and past and present, and identity. You know, there has to be, you see, the beyond whereby these things are seen, because where do you have to go to prove these things? Just today is good enough. Where was? Where is yesterday today? Where is yesterday today? And when their parents tomorrow come, where is this moment in that now? Where is the pictures of today, tomorrow? Where is yesterday's pictures in you today? Yesterday, Equally, a moment was there that was very, very succinct or very delicate or profound or very aggressive or something. It had an impact upon your being in some way. You know, where is it now? Where is it? Where is yesterday? At the time it says quarter to nine. Where was quarter to nine yesterday? We speak about the past. Where it come from? Where do you keep your past? Where is the past that we give so much importance and credibility to it? I think if a human being begins to question a little bit like this, a clarity must uh, prevail at the end of this inquiry. You know, I'm saying these things over and over again. I don't know if I'm just a, a failed missionary or something, because. I did not come from that background, particularly in its in its religious, you know, costume. I was not a I was not a thinker. I'm not a thinker. You know, I didn't grow up in a kind of like debates and thinking and introspecting and meditating. I was never doing that. I was more of a sports guy. I never read books and, you know. Very basic kind of guy. Watch movie, read comics, and you know, fool around. Make a lot of sports and all of that. And how radically that life changed, whereby uh, these things can be spoken about. And so, I mean, something happened here. I mean, you are going north and you end up in the east. Oh, how, what happened to you? I said, well, I, I don't know, actually. But something did to take place, something inside here, and a reorientation of direction somehow took place. Now. And I'm now speaking about these things. I'm not sitting here talking about martial arts or arts, or any of the arts, or you know, any of this, any philosophy. And just somehow bringing awareness, bringing attention to this, which are found of all the varying subjects in the human kingdom. And this is the, the ever-prevailing one. What is your essential condition? You know, because everything got burnt by this fire. And you have to be strong to be in this. Uh, when, when I say I, I say you have to be strong to be in this world, what world am I talking about? The world that is lived in the mind. The world that is the world of human beings relating to other human beings about life and 
ideology and their own personal mythology and identity, the interaction that happened in the marketplace called existence. This is what uh, I say is very complex. Because who sent us in particular here? You know, when your when our parents were 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 pregnant, mother pregnant with you, she was expecting a child, but was she expecting you particularly? And who are you particularly? You keep changing. Sometimes you're blue, sometimes green, sometimes yellow, sometimes no light, sometimes brown, sometimes pink. You know, who who are we? The child of our parents. We can't even stand still. We cannot be still. Something always cooking, it's always always moving. But there is that which which somehow looks upon that also, on the changeful aspect, the changefulness, and watch it from a place of unchangingness. Otherwise, the changeful could not be perceived as changeful, were it not for the unchanging. When one contemplates like this, all the subjects, all the differences, and so all of them, they vanish. Because they can't come here. There is a place where the world stops. Beyond that gate, it cannot come. There is a, a place where the person stops. Beyond this gate, it cannot come. And you are here. 